Hello, welcome back, and I'm Gabby Santana, and you're here in Mexican cooking with Gabby. Today, I have a very delicious, simple recipe that I want to share with you. It's frijoles charros. Once you see it, you're gonna love it. It's so easy and simple. Let's get started. In a pan, let's put a tablespoon of oil and cook, let's cook our onion for like three or four minutes. Once our onion is, is done, let's add our ham, bacon, and hot dog. After this mix is ready, the bacon is cooked and everything. The last step is to add our chorizo and let's mix it very well and cook it for around 3-4 minutes. Once my beans and my mixture of ham and chorizo are done, I'm going to pass my, my frijoles to a big pan and I'm going to add my mix of ham and bacon that we just cooked. I'm going to add it to my pan with my beans. And add all the liquid of the beans because you're going to need it. This is kind of like a soup, so you need a lot of the liquid. On the last 10 minutes of when you're cooking, you're going to let them boil your beans. Add a little bit of cilantro if you like. That's totally option, but it gives a really good flavor. Our frijoles charros are done, ready to eat. They're so good. Enjoy. And here's a presentation. Look at this. Isn't they look amazing? My husband loves to add a little bit of jalapeno, diced jalapeno, you know, some salt if you need to, tortillas, and you're ready to eat them. They are really, really good. They freeze pretty well too, so if you have leftover, put it in your freezer, they're gonna be just fine. And the best part is here. I'm gonna give it a try. I have to taste these frijoles charros that I already know they're delicious. But you need to see me eating it, you know what I mean? So you can say, oh my gosh, I wanna do it. So here's my plate. It's a little, I let, I let it cool for like five, six minutes because it was really hot. Like, I mean, really hot. So in your honor, okay? Mmm. These are to die for. No joke. Mmm. 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 Full of flavor. You are going to love them. They're full of flavor. Honestly. These in my country, they will give to you this as an entrance. This is not a main dish, okay? But I'm gonna tell you a secret. In my house, this is a main dish. When I do it, this is what we eat and that's it. So don't tell them. So every time if you go to Mexico and visit a restaurant, 90% of the restaurants will give you a little plate with frijoles charros as an entrance, and then they'll bring you uh, your main dish. That's what it is. In, uh, in all of um, Mexican parties, frijoles charros has to be there. Many ways to do it, but this one is really, really um, yummy and easy. Thank you so much for watching me. I'm Gabby Santana, and you're in Mexican Cooking with Gabby. I will leave the link in the description below for the recipe and a lot of more recipes. Remember that uh, my blog, it's 
Can we say it is a bilingual blog? Can you say that? Okay, so it's Cocinando Rico. .com for my uh, Spanish recipes that is a little bit of everything but here is only authentic Mexican food okay see you later thanks share this video share it and follow me give a thumbs up <laughs>